Wiki projects are a way for you, the teacher, to assign haiku-based projects to your entire class, to a group of students, or to students on an individual basis. And here's how you do that. So I'm logged into the class Around the World in 80 Days as the teacher Jane Doe. I click the Add Content Block button, and in the small window that loads, I want to go to the Connect and Assess tab and choose Wiki Project. Haiku then steps me through what type of wiki project that I want. So I begin by typing a title, and this is going to be about my student's summer. Then I type some instructions. Now I've already copied some, so I'm going to go ahead and paste those in here. Basically in this project, I'm asking my students to share the things that they did over the summer, but to weave those together with other students. Now I need to decide what type of wiki project is. Is it for the entire class, so that everyone can create pages, add blocks, and other content together as one? Is it for groups, so that I can have smaller numbers of students working together, so that there will be multiple projects? Or is it personal, so that I want each student to have their own wiki project, or their own student website, where they can post text pictures and things? In this instance, I'd like it to be a group project, so I select group, and then I click the next button to go to the next step. Now since this is a group project, I have several different options. I can organize my students into new groups, I can reuse groups I may have already created in Haiku, or I can reuse and reorganize a previously used group of students. I'm going to go ahead and start from scratch and make a new group. Since I made that selection, I have other choices to make. So now, how many groups do I want? In this case, I'll leave it at two, and as Haiku notes, I can always change this on the next page. Click the next button, and now I can name my groups. So if I want this to be called group one, group two, and so on, I'll go ahead and change this, and I'm going to call this something like group A. And I can see here that the name has changed. I've got my group named. If I want to delete it, I can remove it here by clicking this icon. But I like it, so I'm ready to add students, so I click in this box. And when I do that, I see the students who are not in a group yet. So in this first group, I'm going to add Renee, and I'm going to add Ima. Now I can see here too, I have other options. If I chose the wrong student, for instance, I can remove them by clicking this little icon here, this little X, or I can move them to a different group. So I could move it to group two, for instance. I'm happy with what's here, so I'll leave it. Then if I move to group two, I can add my other students who haven't been assigned to group A. So we've got Renard and Marcos. If I need to rework the groups, I can clear them all out, which means all the students will be unassigned, or I can have Haiku auto-distribute students into the group for me. I can also create a, group, a new group here if I'd like. I'm ready to go, so I click the next button. And now I set what kind of feedback will be possible in this wiki project. So those options are a teacher review, which means only the teacher and the students who are in the group can see the wiki project. Also comments are enabled so the students and the teacher can comment on the different pages. It could be peer review, so students in one group can see another group's wiki projects and add comments. Or it could be peer view, which means that students can see other groups' wiki projects, but they cannot comment on them. I'm going to keep this as teacher review, so that's fine. I can then set a due date, so if this is an assignment, I want to make sure that my students know that this has to be done by a certain time. I want this one done by September 3rd and 11 p.m., that's fine. And if I'm going to grade this, I can have Haiku create a gradebook entry for me. So I'll leave that enabled and the point value for this wiki project is going to be 50 points. And gradebook category, it's just a project. That's a category I'd set up in my gradebook. And then where on the page do I want this to show up for my students? I'm going to go ahead and put it at the top of the right column. I am ready to go, so I click the Save button. Back on that main page then, if I scroll up just a bit, I can see I'm still on the page Maps of the World, and the wiki project I just created, What Did You Do This Summer, is here, and I can see the details. So it's a group projects, you can see the permissions, so what the group members can do, 
when the, when the project is actually due, how much it's worth, and the description. Now if I want to see what students are creating, what they've already done in the wiki project, I click the View Projects link here. And there's a summary of what the project is. And I can see that there are two groups. And when I hover over the link, so Group 2, which I didn't change the name, and Group A, that the project is not started yet. And if I need to at this point, I could go ahead and start the wiki site for the students if they need a little help getting going. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave that as it is and close out of here. And I also want to point out that there are two other wiki projects on the page, and they're at the top of the other two columns. So at the top of the left column, our class trip, I can see is a class project. Again, I know it's a wiki project because there's a view project link. And the top of the middle column, the where have you been, I can see that it is a personal project. And again, view projects link. I can also get to a list of the wiki projects if I go to the connect tab and choose wiki projects. And when this page reloads, I can see a list of my projects and the different types so that there's a group, personal, a class. And then to change any of the settings for any of these given projects, I just need to go over to the manage project and I'll look at the group since that's what we just created. Click the arrow and I can choose edit project. So here are the details. The screen should look pretty familiar, and I can change any of these settings at this point. So I'll go ahead and click Cancel. And another way I could have created a wiki project would be was from this page by clicking the Add Wiki Project button here, and it's the same process we just went through. If I don't want to use wiki projects in my class, I can turn them off so that students won't have wiki projects show up in their connect tab. So to turn wiki projects off, I need to go to manage class and choose class settings. Then in the small window that opens, I want to go to features, find wiki projects, which is near the bottom of the page, and I want to choose remove. Now because I have wiki projects in the class already, Haiku warns me that if I remove this feature, the tab is going to be hidden and those projects I created will be deleted. Do I really want to do that? In this case I don't, so I hit cancel. And those are the basics of how teachers use wiki projects.